So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a consistent $1,000 per month. And I can assure you, if you implement this strategy, you are definitely going to make money. All these people you see making big bucks online, a lot of them, their strategies boil down to what I'm going to try and compress in this video. And I'm going to try and do it in the simplest way possible so that a complete beginner can go and replicate this and make some money. All I ask is that at the end of the video, if you do get some value, just leave me a like on this video, subscribe if you want to see future videos like this one, and then leave me a question in the comment section on things you did not understand in the video or further topics you want me to cover in future videos. Right, so with that said, the method we're implementing is something called affiliate marketing, and I'm going to be explaining how to do it from scratch without any capital. I'm going to break it down completely. Now, the first step in being a successful affiliate marketer is to pick a niche. That's the first thing you want to do. You don't want to be scattered around different niches or have your energy spread around different topics. You want to focus on a single niche. That way, you increase your chances of success. There are thousands and thousands of niches out there. And to be honest, all of them are very profitable. However, there are four niches that seem to be evergreen and seem to have a truckload of traffic all year long. So these niches are health, wealth, love and relationships, and then spirituality. But remember, the same way these four niches have a lot of traffic, is just the same way that they also have a lot of competition. So if you're getting to any of these four niches, be sure you're going to meet very stiff competition. So you need to put in a lot of effort if you're going to make some money. All right, so with that said, you pick a niche. Within the health niche, you can decide to focus on child medication. You can decide to focus on weight loss. You can decide to focus on diabetes. Then in wealth, you can decide to focus on how to make money online, products, software, methods, name it. Then in love and relationships, you can decide to focus on how women can get men to love them. That is a very broad subcategory in of itself. Or you can decide to focus on what men can do to make women fall in love with him. And their entire YouTube channel is based around these topics. Kotred Pill is one very good example. He focuses on what men can do to get the most out of their relationships. So this is just a general idea. Then for spirituality, you have affirmations and all the likes. And this is a very huge niche and it has very huge potential for making a lot of money. So these are the four biggest. There are tons and tons of them. I've seen someone who makes well over $10,000 a month from talking about bikes, different types of bikes. And that is the whole content of his blog. And he's absolutely crushing it. So it can be any niche. Okay. It can be any niche at all. So once you have picked a niche, the next thing you need to do is to get affiliate products. You need to get the products that are going to be advertising in your content, whether your content be blog posts or whether it is video on YouTube. So there are many ways to get affiliate products. Two very popular affiliate sites are Clickbank and Warrior Plus. On Clickbank, you can find uh, products on different categories. This is the Clickbank marketplace. And as you can see, Clickbank has sorted out their affiliate products into arts and entertainment, as seen on TV, betting system, business, computers, cooking, e-business and e-marketing, employment jobs. So these are uh, the categories on Clickbank. So if you decide on health and fitness, for instance, if you click this health and fitness, then you'll be able to see the products in the health and fitness category, Okinawa Flat Belly Tonic. And then what you need to do is to click this promote right here, and then you get your affiliate link. Once someone buys through that link, you make money. Now, how to put the link in, I'll explain that very soon, but I just wanted to go over the places where you can get your affiliate products. Remember we're in step two, which is to get affiliate products. So Clickbank is one such place. A little caveat to remember is that Clickbank is not available worldwide. There are some countries that are banned from using Clickbank. So if Clickbank is banned in your country, you can use a VPN like NordVPN to get Clickbank. I have a link to NordVPN in the description box of this video. Through that link in the description, you'll be able to get NordVPN at a discount. Right. So with that said, Another place where you can get affiliate products is this website called Warrior Plus. Now, Warrior Plus is available worldwide, so it doesn't really take anything to, to set up an account on Warrior Plus. Just go ahead and sign up. 
they'll send you a verification email go ahead and verify your account once you have done that you just go ahead and log in now once you are logged into your Oracle account you're going to see something like this you go to affiliates and click offers now once you do that it's going to bring you to this page and you can see all the offers on Warrior Plus. There are a lot of offers on Warrior Plus. So you just need to find an offer that is in the niche you have decided. Remember, our first step was to pick a niche. The second step is to get affiliate products. I've already gone over ClickBank. Now this is Warrior Plus. You can get affiliate products from ClickBank, you can get it from Warrior Plus, you can get it from anywhere. So if you want to promote, let's say, this Drive Special, so you just go ahead and click Request. And it will bring you to this page where you can request approval. So it's going to give you an opportunity to write a note to the owner of this product. So in this place, you can tell the, the owner, you say, hi. I am an experienced internet marketer looking to promote great products. I found your products on Warrior Plus, blah, blah, blah. I think it's a great product. I have a huge audience on YouTube or I have a huge email list of people that I can promote your products to. And these guys are from first world countries, ETC. You know, just introduce yourself. Tell the person that you have a large following or you have large audience or you have huge traffic and you want to test out this product in your market and your market is field of people from first world countries which are people that are willing to buy people from first world countries are people that are always willing to buy so that's what you want to say and then you now click request offer once you request the offer there is a likelihood that the person is going to send you an affiliate link and then you can promote the product if the person does not send you the affiliate link just go ahead and try promoting another product if you click this button here that says sales page it will take you to the sales page of the product just a second it's going to look right now okay so it's going to take you to the sales page of the product. Now what you want to do is to go through the sales page and understand exactly... Do you ever wish you could just store all your files in one central location without worry? Now what you want to do is to go over the sales page and understand exactly the solution that this product provides. So once you have understood the product and the problem it solves, then you'll be in a better position to craft it into an article or to write an article about the problem and then present this product as the solution. But more on the article writing part later. For now, I just want to emphasize that this is a place where you can get affiliate products and this is how you can get your affiliate link. Now, you can also do it the good old fashioned way by going to Google and looking for products you can promote through affiliate marketing. So let's say you have chosen your niche as the health niche. You can come here and search affiliate products in the health niche so this uh, is a blog post 10 best affiliate programs in 2021 this blog post points you to where you can get affiliate links to products so this uh, blog post contains health affiliate programs so this one says smart nora affiliate program so you just go ahead you copy this smart nora affiliate program and you go and paste it into google so this is it smart nora affiliate program so you just go over to the smart nora website and then sign up for the affiliate program and then try and promote their products so you just go to it aside this smart nora you also have this physician's choice health affiliate program the lost book of remedies affiliate program fitbit health affiliate so there are a lot of things so you can use google and get affiliate specific affiliate programs and join if you don't want to use google then you can use um clickbank or you can go ahead and use um warrior plus aside these two there's also jvzoo and a couple of other ones there are endless affiliate programs that you can join at this point we've gone over the first two steps the first one is to pick a niche the second one is to get the affiliate products you want to promote if i get to some value out of this video so far please give me a like now the third step is to go ahead and write your articles now there are two kinds of articles there are timely articles let me call them timely articles and then there are evergreen articles if you want to write an evergreen article you are going to be writing an article about a certain problem so let's say this secret email system we're seeing right here this product helps people to organize their emails for instance 
Now, you're going to title your article, How to Organize Emails. So let's assume that your article ranks. People are forever going to search for how they can organize their emails. So if you write an article on how to organize your email, you give very really valuable content. And then you can say there's an automatic way to organize your emails. And then you now put your link to your secret email system. Now, anybody that reads that article is going to say, okay, yes, this is really valuable information on how to organize emails, but I think I would like to go the automatic route. And then the person will go ahead and click your affiliate link. Now, that is so good because that article is going to continue to rank. How to organize your emails is something people are going to search for for a very, very long time. So that is one way to go evergreen articles so what you want to do is to when you go through the sales page of a product after i've gone through the sales page of a product ask yourself what problem does this product solve write an article about the problem and then propose the product as the solution in that article that way the article is going to be evergreen because that problem is a problem that's going to be around for a very very long time for instance let me say weight loss you decided to be an affiliate for a weight loss product write a compelling article about how to lose weight and then recommend that product as a solution to weight loss that article on how to lose weight is going to rank for a very long time this is probably the best way to go but writing evergreen articles also borders on seo you need to write articles that have low competition keywords but high search volume i'm going to do a separate video on on SEO okay but just keep that in mind that you have evergreen articles then you now have the time bound articles and articles that are time bound articles that would rank for a while and then eventually die out so a very good example would be this product that we're using as an example here this drives espresso so how to write time bound articles is to write an article called drive espresso review so when you type dry special review, you write an article on this product particularly. That's the difference. You write an article on this product, talking about the merits of the product, the, de the demerits of the product, and then you also leave your affiliate link at the end. So what that does is that when this product launches or during uh, its boom or during its high period, your article is definitely going to rank for it and you're going to make some sales. However, this dry espresso is not going to last forever. Eventually, better products than this dry espresso is going to come up and people are going to stop searching for dry espresso on, on Google or on YouTube. Think about all the products that we had in our 90s and 80s. How many of them do you still see today? Okay, Many of them are, are gone and out of the market. But the problems which those products try to solve are still in the market today. Let me use an example, weight loss. The weight loss products in the 90s are vastly different from the weight loss products that are available today. However, people continue trying to lose weight. So let's say a weight loss product in the 90s was called Birium. Let me just pick the name Birium for instance. Now, if you wrote a review article on Birium, by now you won't get any traffic to that article at all. Okay, But if you wrote a review article on how to lose weight and then you recommended Birium in the article, then that article will probably still be getting traffic up to this very day. So that is the advantage that evergreen articles have over time-bound articles. So when you are writing articles, just try to keep a balance between time-bound articles and evergreen articles. Write both, see which one does better for you, and then double down on what is working. So at this point, we have covered the first two steps, which is picking a niche and getting affiliate products. In fact, we have all covered writing articles. I've just explained the two kinds of articles that you can write. Now, the next thing is to get traffic. Now, let's say you have written your article. How will you get people to read that article? Now, let's say you do not have a YouTube channel and you do not have a website. The first place you want to keep your mind out for is Quora. Now, Quora is a website where people come to ask questions and also get answers. Quora has an unbelievable amount of monthly traffic. Let's check it. So this is Quora.com. And then this is a website where you can check the monthly traffic of other websites it's called SimilarWeb. So if we just go ahead and paste Quora.com right here and search. So you can see that Quora has over well over 550 million visits in January. Okay. So you can clearly see 
that between November 20th and April 21st, Cora consistently has well over 550 million monthly visits. Okay, that is a lot of traffic. If Quora gets 550 million visits on a monthly basis, you just need a little fraction of that to get a lot of eyes to your um, article on Quora. So on Quora, you go answering questions. Now, this is a test Quora account I used a while ago. And I answered a question. Just one question, I just left it. And after a month when I came back, I was astonished. This is uh, the... Uh, my statistics in Quora and that article I wrote which I did not even give a lot of attention to got 73 views and one upvote and this is just because I wrote one article had it been I had written 15 to 20 to 30 articles this would this figure would easily be 1000 2000 or even 10,000 views then when you have 10,000 people view your articles and you have affiliate links in those articles you are likely to make one two three four sales now beware, do not go stuffing your articles with links on Quora is a bad idea. Write one or two articles, no links. And then the third one can have a link, the fourth and fifth one, no links. And then the sixth one can have a link. That way Quora will eventually trust your articles. And then you can forget about being afraid of being banned on Quora. The answer I provided on Quora was the answer to a question. Someone asked, this person asked, what is the best book on relationship? And there's a book I read some time ago, the name of the book is Five Love Languages. So I just wrote a very short answer, very, very short answer. I just said, by far, the best book on relationship to read is Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Reading the book helped me improve my relationship life, blah, blah, blah. I just highlighted a few things about the book and I just said, it's a great read. Now, had I known what I know today, I would have dropped an Amazon link to, to the book. So if someone reads this answer, so all these 73 people that read this answer, Okay, all the some people that read this answer, at least 10 of them would have clicked the um, Amazon link to go and check out the book on Amazon. And maybe one or two of them would have bought, so I'll have made one or two sales from this article. Now, it's not automatic. You cannot expect to make sales from every single article. But making money online is a game of numbers. The more articles you write, the better you get at writing, the more you increase your chances of making a sale. So this is how to do it on Quora. So this would fall into the love and relationship niche. Somebody asked the question, what is the best book on relationship to, uh, what's the best book on relationship to read? Okay. So I, so you, you find the question, you go over to Google, do your research, put together a very good answer, and then look for affiliate products that solve that problem. Okay. Look for affiliate products that solve that question's problem, and then put your affiliate links in the article, probably at the last part, but do not put affiliate links in all your articles on Quora. So Quora is one very good place where you can write articles and be guaranteed to get traffic on those articles. Okay. You can also write time bound articles on Quora. All you need to do is to use another Quora account and ask the question. So you can actually ask questions on Quora. You can go ahead and ask the question. You can add a question like here. You can see you can add a question. So you can add a question. What is Shopspresso? Like the last um, product we're using, what is Shopspresso? And then use another Quora account and go and answer the question in detail and then leave your affiliate link in the article. So that is the way to go about it on Quora. And it's the exact same thing on Medium. Medium is another um, website that gets very huge amount of traffic, humongous amount of traffic. If I take you back to similar web and this time I decide to search for Medium, I decide to check um, medium.com, just a second to load. So now you can see that between November 20th and April 21st, Medium gets well over 223 million monthly visits, okay? Well over 223 million monthly visits. So just a little above 200 million monthly visits. This is what Medium gets. So clearly Quora gets more traffic than Medium, but 220 million is not a small number by any means. 200 million is a lot, is a, is a lot of monthly visits, okay? So if you just go over to Medium, you can get started. And that's thing I need to mention is that on Medium, you can get paid for just writing articles. Medium has something similar to the YouTube partner program we have on YouTube, where YouTube pays creators for just creating content. On Medium, if you create content and you join their partner program, you can also get paid for just writing articles. Now, aside that payment, you can get 
paid from the affiliate commissions you will make from the affiliate links that are in your articles. So just like what I explained on Quora, do the exact same thing on Medium. Get products that solve problems, write about the problems on Medium, put in your affiliate links, and then leave the article on Medium. Eventually, the article is going to get some eyeballs and you're going to see some sales. Now, something to remember about Medium is that if you have affiliate links in your Medium article, you need to write at the very bottom of your article a disclaimer. Okay, you need to add that this uh, article contains affiliate links and that you're going to make some commission if the person purchases through that link. Medium just requires it. Aside that, there's no other caveat. So just add a disclaimer at the bottom of the screen that your article contains some affiliate links and if someone clicks on the link, you may get a commission. So just craft it together and put it at the bottom of your articles that have affiliate links. Now, aside Medium, we're also going to talk about another traffic source where you can put your articles without having a website and that third source is linkedin now like i said before this linkedin website just like the first two also has humongous amount of traffic so i'm going to search for linkedin's traffic here okay. so there you have it linkedin has well over 1.1 billion monthly views that is way more than the first two linkedin has way more traffic than the first two so you have i wouldn't say you have way more potential on linkedin but just like the other two linkedin is another place where you want to put on your articles so if you head over to linkedin and you open your profile just click here that says write article and then you can start with a headline you can say um how to lose weight fast That's the name of the article, for instance. Of course, you are going to put this in title cases. I'm just I'm writing it like this because this is a tutorial. How to lose weight, sorry. Then you go ahead to write your article, okay? And after writing your article, you go ahead and publish. So this is uh, the publish button. I don't know if you can see this. So once you are done typing your article, just go ahead and publish it. Again, remember your affiliate links should be in your articles. So all you need to do is to find problems, write articles on those problems, and then recommend solutions in your articles. Now those solutions, of course, are products to which you are affiliates, okay? And you want to put your affiliate links in those your articles. Now, aside this, of course, you definitely want to have a blog. If you make money from this, or better put, when you make money from this, because making money from this is almost guaranteed, you need to put in that money into getting a blog of your own. That just allows you to have 100% control. You can collect emails. There's a lot you can do with your blog. And then eventually, you grow the blog. Again, I did not explain the SEO part to choosing topics, but I don't want to incorporate that into this video because it's going to make this video very long and I don't want that. This video is already long enough as it is. If you made it to this point in the video, Comments make money with affiliate marketing in the comment section. So I know you got to this point in the video. Drop a like for me if you enjoyed this video. Let me know the kind of videos you guys want to see in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.